As you can see, Harlow loves being pampered. <laughs> So, I feel pretty good today. Still a little worn out from the weekend, but no big deal. Harlow, of course, has a ton of energy. And Monday mornings are when she's supposed to have her play date with Atlas, my friend Julian's service dog, but Julian had something come up, totally fine. So they can't play at the dog park this morning, but I decided that I'm gonna make today a Harlow day anyways, right? Say thank you for being so awesome. Yeah, let's do it. One of Harlow's favorite parts of the day is breakfast. So we're putting some ground flax seed, some chia seeds, and some coconut oil. All very good for her, healthy for her skin and coat. She's gonna get some mango. Lastly, I'm gonna add an egg in there. Delicious breakfast. Yum, hippo. It's like her favorite part of the day, maybe. Just a true golden, loves her food. Okay, good girl. Harlow enjoyed her breakfast, and now we're gonna go on one of our walks. Harlow and I have been able to go on walks a lot more often now, which is nice because I can take my wheelchair and the weather's nice. It's actually getting a little warmer this week. It's gonna be in like the low 80s before the highs, but in the morning, it's still cool enough for me to go outside. So we're gonna go for a walk around the block. But first, I left my shoes. I don't even know if y'all can see them, but I left my shoes on the top of the stairs. So I'm gonna ask Carlo to get them for me. Go, go get it. Oh, you have to go backwards. Go get it. There you go. Good girl. Thank you, Harlow. One at a time. Get it. Good dog. Come on. Thank you, Hippo. Going up the stairs backwards is a rear end awareness exercise. And I don't ask her to do it all the time, but every time she goes up the stairs, she likes to turn around and go backwards. But, um,. That's the thing about service dogs. They each have their own individual personality. So like, if I ask her to get me my shoes, she's gonna do it differently than if I ask Orion to get me my shoes. And I like that she's happy and goofy and silly about it. Cause that just shows she loves her job and it shows her personality. So anyway, put my shoes on, take my slippers off. Don't wanna go out with my slippers and um, we're gonna go on our walk. <laughs> you like your purple dinosaur? Oh my gosh. Hmm, <laughs> you're very cute but annoying with this thing. I'm glad you're enjoying it though. So we went on our walk. I totally forgot the camera on the stairs, um, but I can't like use my smart drive and vlog at the same time. I just, I can't. However, a lot of y'all suggested getting some type of like tripod to put onto my wheelchair to put my camera on that while I'm rolling. And I think that would be so cool. So I'm looking into something like that. But uh, we went on our walk. Harlow was on a nice trot to keep up with me with the smart drive at full speed. So she got in some exercise. Did you enjoy that? Got your exercise? She got a big smile on her face. And now I'm gonna give her a bone. And after that, I'm going to groom her because I got some new grooming supplies and I'm not an expert at grooming, but um, I do enough to keep her looking good and keep her coat nice. Uh, but I wanna learn and get better. So I got some new tools and we're just gonna spoil Harlow today. You want your chicken foot? Watch me. Okay. Go enjoy that. There you go. Here is all my grooming supplies. This is a Dremel, because I like to Dremel Harlow's nails instead of clip them. 
this is a brush I've had for a long while and I use this like behind her ears and in some places where she's prone to getting knots but if I keep up with brushing she's good. This is a new brush I got, Janice showed me. It was only like four bucks um, and it's really good for her shedding. It's awesome. And then this is a This is a clipper set. It's a wall clipper set. I got that so I can um, trim her pads. And this has a bunch of grooming shears and um, somebody recommended getting thinning shears, which are these. So when I trim her feet, it doesn't come out all choppy and it'll look smoother, like a smoother finish. And there's just different sizes. And what I really like is the, um, you can see the tips of them are rounded, which is safer for um, trimming the hippo. Came with a brush and this, this, and this I got on Amazon. I'll put links to them if anyone's interested. I haven't used them yet, so I don't know how good they are. Well, I've used this, I know this is good. And then this and this I've had a long time. Dremel you can get like on Amazon or anywhere really. Okay, so first I'm just gonna take this brush and I really just use it behind her ears. That's where she's really prone to getting knots. So I just brush her every couple of days. Oh, you're so nice. There's no knots and you're all clean. No dog slobber on you. As you can see, Harlow loves being pampered. <laughs> then I take this rake and there's going to be a lot of hair. I would do this outside, but it's already too hot for me to go outside. So I just do it in here and then I run the Roomba. Not a big deal. not that bad. Eh, you can use a little trim. Otherwise she like slips all over the place when not working. So. I know, you're ticklish. Harla has very sensitive feet so I gotta be careful because she's very ticklish here. She's also not a huge fan of the Dremel, but she like tolerates it for me, so I'm proud of her for that. I also make sure I wear a mask because when you Dremel nails, like all this nail dust, I guess, comes off, so I do not like to inhale that. Good girl, you ready? Good dog, no. Very good. While I am done grooming the hippo, I combed her, brushed her out, dremeled her nails, trimmed up her pads and the tops of her paw, and then I also trimmed down her sensitive area, which is like her lady parts, <laughs> so she doesn't make a mess when she goes to the bathroom on her fur or anything like that. And I don't need to comb her anymore. I'm just doing it because she likes it. She laid her head back down in here after I told her she was all done and <laughs> she just really enjoys it. We just pampering you. We just spoiling you today, like every day. All right, Hippo, we gotta be done now. I need to clean up and go lay down cause I'm tired. Mm -hmm. But you make grooming so easy and you look so pretty. Good girl. Oh, you look so good. Well, Harlow looks beautiful as usual, though I don't have to do much for her to look pretty. She's a very adorable dog. And I was pretty impressed with all the grooming tools I used. I liked them. 
Now the Roomba is running downstairs. I came upstairs to rest for a bit, but I wanted to show you all the guest room. So Anne, Judd's mom, got us our guest room bed set for Christmas, and I love it. This blanket is so comfy. The bed set is pretty. Um, what's kind of funny is if you look closely, the two big blue pillows, they're the same color, but they have a different pattern on them. And I <laughs> didn't realize when I chose it out, but I was like, you know what? The different pattern looks cool, but uh, we're going for like a black furniture turquoise theme in here and this matched perfectly. The only thing is the headboard is brown and not black and I was going to get a new headboard because if you look the texture doesn't really like match the other furniture but with the pillows there you can't really tell so I think we're just going to spray paint this one and save some money and yeah looks good. We need to put the bed skirt on um, but I need Judd's help for that. Though everything's coming together just in time for my family to come in. We have family coming in, not for Christmas, but like the 27th to the 3rd, so for New Year's. And it's just some aunts, uncles, and cousins from my mom's side, and I'm super excited. My cousin, I'm pretty sure my cousin and her boyfriend are staying with us. Um, there's like a ton of us. Some are staying at this house, they're renting on the beach near us. Some are staying here, some are staying with my mom, so it'll be fun. And my dad will be with us too, because... He's part of the family, um, and his birthday is actually December 31st, so he's almost a New Year's baby. All right, well, I am in our bed, and we've got a busy day tomorrow, and after our walk in grooming Harlow, I'm kind of needing a rest, so while the Roomba runs downstairs, I am going to take a nap. Hey, Google, can you play Without You by Glee Cast? Without You by Glee Cast, sure. Playing on Google for music. As y'all may be able to tell, I'm still watching Glee and I still love it. Hey Google, can you play Lydia by Highly Suspect? Okay, Lydia by Highly Suspect. Here it is on Google Play Music. I don't really listen to this kind of music, but I love this song. Judge showed it to me. Hey Google, what is the meaning of life? Life, noun. The condition that distinguishes animals and plants from inorganic matter, including the capacity for growth, reproduction, functional activity, and continual change preceding death. Also, 42. <laughs> oh my god, if y'all have watched Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you'll get that one. <laughs> well, Harlow's playing with her new toy, the purple dinosaur, and I was just... <laughs> testing out stop <laughs> i was just testing out the google home that judd's sister got us for christmas it's it's pretty fun we haven't like gotten through all of the features yet but so far it's um it's pretty entertaining it's nice when i'm in the kitchen and i want music to play i can just say hey google and then ask for a song to come on Okay, stop distracting me. I'm trying to say goodnight. So, um, yeah, I had a pretty restful day other than like our walk and grooming Harlow and just getting a few things done around the house. I relaxed because, you know, just recouping from our busy weekend. Tomorrow is another busy day. I got a surgeon consult in the morning, infectious disease doctor in the afternoon, and my mom is taking me to those. So I look forward to spending the day with her. And yeah, I guess Harlow, myself, and the dinosaur <laughs> are going to bed. So with that, I'll say goodnight. And thanks for joining us on our adventure.